Hello, it's an epic Wi-Fi guy bringing you my first Wi-Fi battle. So I've actually been Wi-Fi battling for quite a while, but I started to consider commentating. My good friend HeyJ311 said I should because he thinks I'm a pretty good battler. <clears throat> so, um, anyway, let the battle commence. So here we have a battle against Adam Ali. And he starts off with his rear necklace. I didn't really expect him to do so. And for me, I'm leaning up with my Zesty, my Amoongus. I'm thinking I can probably outspeed it, but I decide not to because I expect he'll use Psychic. So I switch it to my Scizor. So I can sponge the Psychic. Interestingly enough, it turns out it's a Trick Room set. <clears throat> so I could either Pursuit Trap it or I could just U-turn away. I just decide to U-turn because I thought he might bring in Tyranitar. And indeed he does. And he gets a sand up. So Scissor will do a really good chunk against the Tyranitar, and then I can bring in... I decided to bring in my Dragonite, because then I can just extreme speed it without having to worry about the Trick Room. And not having to outspeed the Tyranitar. Or outslow the Tyranitar, that is. I go for the extreme speed, and I get a critical, but it doesn't really matter because the Tyranitar would probably die anyway, since he was at such a low health. <clears throat> Ooh, leftovers. Multi this is a multi-skill Dragonite. Dragonite is quite good in my opinion, because it can take a hit from most other dragons. So here he brings in the Blastoise, and I predict the Ice Beam, and I switch out to my Amoongus, because I know I can take any special hit with this guy. Because Amoongus is extremely specially bulky, and he has the regenerator ability too. But it turns out he tries using Toxic, which is good, because I'm not affected by that. And I also have Regenerator on this Amoongus. I really like Amoongus, it's one of my favorite grass types. So I go for the Sludge Bomb, because I predict that he might switch out to Reuniclus, but he just stays in and he gets poisoned by the Sludge Bomb. Which actually does matter, because you'll see this, you'll see why in a second. And take a look at this, even with the Ice Gem boosted Ice Beam against my Amoongus, it, only, it doesn't even do a half. That's how bulky Amoongus is. And I really recommend people to use him more often. <clears throat> so here I will just decide to go for the Giga Drain, knowing that I can probably kill it. And I guess he goes for the Skull because he wanted to try burning me, but I don't really mind the burn on my Amoongus because of the Regenerator. So here we go, recovering some health. And as you can see, the Blastoise just barely survives, but thanks to the poison from earlier, he will die to the Sandstorm and Poison. Hmm. Yeah. So again, he sends his rear Nyclus, and I thought he would go for the Trick Room right away, so I go for a Giga Drain. So I go for a Giga Drain, I want to see how much this does. But he actually goes for the Psychic, as you can see. And I suspect that he's max special attack, and look how much this does. It's super effective, yet I still survive it. That's how great Amoongus is. I just like Amoongus. This is one of my favorites. I, I, I didn't think I would like him when I first saw the design, but I, I grew to like him. He kind of grew on me, you know? <clears throat> so I decided to switch out and get some regenerator HP back, and bring in my Scizor, because it's one of the best Rear Necklace counters. And now he goes for the Trick Room, which is a pretty good play on his part. And now, I, this time, I decide to Pursuit Trap the Reuniclus, because it seems like it's his only Trick Room center. And he goes for the Focus Blast and it misses, which is quite unfortunate for him. 
And Pursuit does a very good chunk to the remake list. In fact, it kills, which is quite surprising. Oh, it's a critical hit, that's why. And I, I got a lot of hacks in this battle, I have to admit. I don't really like it when I get when I win mostly because when I get hacks against others. I prefer battles to show the skill of the each separate player. But anyway, I go into this ST because I think I wasn't really sure why. I guess I just wanted to switch out again for some more regenerator HP. And he barely survives the earthquake, and he will survive the sandstorm damage, which is quite nice. Oftentimes when I use a Moongus, this kind of thing happens quite a, quite a bit. So I decided to get more Regenerator and switch into my Scizor. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to be able to bring my Polyton in safely without getting hit by the Armaldo. <clears throat> and so I just I do just that. He's, he goes for the Earthquake, which will do about half, I think. And then I go for a U-turn, which does a surprising amount of damage, because Armaldo has quite good physical defense. And it doesn't quite kill. So I believe I bring in... No, I bring in my Tornadus, so I can U-turn again, and then go into my Politoed after killing it. And Tornadus Therian is quite good. I like him. I, I didn't think I would like Tornadus either at first. But when I started using him, he was quite good. And then they released the Therian form, which is even better. So I like it. So now I just decided to go into my Politoed, set the rain up finally. This is a rain-based team, but I decided not to set my rain up for most of the battle, I guess. However, at this point, it is kind of beneficial to him because, as you can see here, he brings out his Mantine, which has Swift Swim. So now he's quite fast. I, th I think that's probably why the reason why he has a Mantine on a Trick Room team. Maybe to counter Rain teams, but it does seem kind of specialized. And Mantine doesn't have the best special attack either. It's okay, but it's not the best. As you can see here, he's basically trying to flinch me. And I'm just basically trying to sacrifice my Politoed to bring someone else in. And here I thought he would kill me, but I just barely survived with 4 HP. And then, and then even worse, I actually managed to freeze him with the Ice Beam, so that was really haxy right there. Yeah, I'm so sorry for that. Anyway, so I go for another Ice Beam, and I just basically kill the Mantine, which has quite good special defense. As you can see, it took five hits to kill. And so the, basically, after this, his last is the Snorlax, and I just decided to sacrifice my Politoed because of the low HP. And not wanting to possibly get paralyzed with the Body Slam. Snorlax is quite good. He's probably my favorite Generation 1 Pokemon. For the design and for the stats. But now I just bring in my Saber, and I decide to superpower, and it will kill the Snorlax, which he thought was kind of surprising, but it is Choice Banded Superpower, so it will do quite a bit of damage against the Snorlax. And it knocks it out, and that was the battle. Thank you for watching, I, I am that epic Wi-Fi guy. And you should go check out HeyJ311 and also Adam Ali. Go check out those guys' channels and thank you very much.